As I'm sure you can imagine, I grew up totally captivated by video games. I'd spend hours upon hours exploring the worlds and immersing myself, with some of the common trends being Pokemon, Paper Mario, Animal Crossing, and The Legend of Zelda. And the fact that many of these are still strong favorites to this day should illustrate that I love these games and love the stories that take place within them. But the thing is that I never actively sought out video games as a storytelling medium. I would kinda just stumble into playing them due to them being the next shiny new thing and totally lose myself in them. But I don't think I thought to myself that video games were a conduit to fulfilling storytelling, even if they had already been for me. However, Chrono Trigger, specifically a moment in Chrono Trigger, changed all of that. When I finally played what I had been told was a classic in my early university years, I was entranced from the first second. Chrono Trigger is rich with passion and quality from the jump, and to say that I was enjoying myself would be a hell of an understatement. I loved the characters, the premise, the humor, and overall aesthetic and approach, and I loved the story's uncanny ability to swing things so drastically yet organically from grim darkness to hope. But I first stopped and stared and was made to wonder on a level especially different to all else when I first stepped into 600 AD. There is such a striking, evocative emotionality to the wind scene track, as well as Secret of the Forest, that lends this extra layer of profundity and depth to the game as soon as you make your way into this point of the story. And along with the rich melancholy, it just evokes this insane feeling of wonder, discovery, scale, and depth to the world, with each era feeling totally different than the last. 600 AD is a period of upheaval and war a far cry from the settled comfort that would establish itself hundreds of years after this. The people here yearn for stability and peace. And I think that yearning and overall spirit and want for peace here is illustrated through Wind Scene, along with the mystical nature of the unknown being present in Secret of the Forest. So discovering this was an encapsulated mini-moment, but the vibes were just a taster for the scene that blew my mind. Later on, Chrono and his party fight Magus in his castle in what seems like the climax of the entire story. Lavos is summoned prematurely, causing us to go back to 65 million BC. We assault the Tyranno Lair, Ozala makes a proclamation that Lavos will destroy all now and in the future, the party escapes and return to find Lavos sleeping underground and a gate above. And the gate takes us to the Kingdom of Zeal in antiquity. Stumbling into this place was no exaggeration one of the biggest moments of my life. For what it evoked in me and made me feel about video games as an art form, or stories in general. I really can't articulate and describe what I felt, the majesty of this place of dreams, the unbelievable music, the denizens who do nothing but study and fixate on dreams and the cosmos, the proclamation from Janus. It all integrates for this ominous and foreboding yet deeply beautiful place that spurs the imagination. To me, this moment and this location, which I consider to be the most magical time period in Chrono Trigger for sure, was one of those rare stretches of storytelling that felt beyond legend. And Chrono Trigger had immense scale before this, but this place gives it this cosmic tone, this grand scale that seems to stretch beyond the boundaries of imagination and reality. Funnily enough, this idealized first impression of Zeal ends up getting subverted the longer the story goes on and the more the lavish splendor gives way as we explore the machinations behind the kingdom, but to me that only ever added to the richness and wonder of the place. It is a setting of art, magic, and culture, but more than anything it just draws you in, allows you to lose yourself in it, and makes you ask the questions that the dreamers wonder. Are you dreaming? Is this ephemeral? is everything. I was in a trance walking through this place for the first time as corridors of time played in the background, so much so that hearing that one of the party will perish didn't really make me pause as much as I thought it would, so much that the plot of the game, while entrancing, seemed to flow by me. And I mean that in the most complimentary way possible, because I had become lost in a game in a way that had never really quite happened before. The Kingdom of Zeal is what convinced me that if this medium is capable of this sort of culmination, I need to spend my time actively searching this out again. I felt that due to how rare this experience was, even if that pursuit would be mostly fruitless, I felt like I needed to try to reach those heights again. 
And so that's what I started doing, and that's what I try to do now. Sometimes I experience things, and video games in particular, that are reminiscent of the quality of Chrono Trigger and this experience, and many times I don't because of how high a standard this is. But even if I don't, good stories are still good, and transcendence wouldn't be transcendence if it were common. The chase itself for this sort of experience is a fulfilling and enthralling ride that I wouldn't trade for anything, and I don't think that I would have found this joy without Chrono Trigger. Many thanks for watching.